To really understand why Regenix is very different, let's take a look at one of our procedures. What you're about to see your orthopedic surgeon can't do, the guy down the street that does a little bit of ultrasound can't do. So let's take a look at this advanced, precise, guided work. So let's take a look at what an advanced interventional orthopedic procedure looks like in the spine. So we're doing intraticular facet injections. So as a dancer, she does a lot of overextension, hyperextension of the lumbar spine. So it definitely overloads those facet joints. So we are one helping the arthritis as well as stabilizing with all the ligaments in the back. Hold on one second. Go back down. I'll mark five. Cold spray stick and burn here. One, two, three. More contrast. So I'm about to inject your facet joints because you can see the opening, but you don't know if you're in yeah. unless you actually inject it and it fills the capsule. If it's just a blob outside the capsule, you're not in. You can see it right around the capsule. Where I'm injecting, do you feel that? Is that recreating some of that back pain? Yeah. Okay, so that's in the facet. You can see it leaking around and going in the circle. That means I'm, I'm in the actual facet. It's actually in that joint. Yep, so that's confirmed that I confirmed with the contrast that I was intraarticular. Then I put a very small dose of steroid, a very small amount of numbing agent to give her some comfort, as well as a high dose of platelet concentrations. Steroid, we actually use a, a nanogram dose of steroid. It's more of a physiological dose. The large steroids that they use in hospitals, those are in the milligram range. So a milligram versus a nanogram are actually a million times different. So that shows you how different we're going to do just two ligaments on the left. And this is also something different than most physicians do. Most physicians just look at structural defects, not so much the things that pertains what's causing the structural issue. 